Welcome back to Arizona Home Tours. Today we're at beautiful Jordy Farms in Queen Creek, Arizona, and we're looking at a community from Shea Homes. Today we're going to be looking at the Acclaim series. We're going to be taking a look at a few of the quick move-ins and also a few of the model homes. Now this community is awesome, has pool, parks, everything you could want in a place to call home, and they have some awesome incentives. And we're going to get into that in this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Let's kick off this tour. So this first model we're looking at is Plan 3521. Again, we're at the Acclaim series here at Geordie Farms from Shea Homes. There's the Acclaim and the Ascent. And Saturday's video will be featuring the Ascent, but today we're going to feature the Acclaim. So right when you walk in, nice tile floor. Then you have your stairs, sorry about that, to the right. And you have a nice little office right here. Now the base price of this home starts at 490, 990. And it's three bedrooms, two and a half baths, three car tandem garage, and 1,968 square feet in this two story home. Unfortunately, they do not have any quick move-ins available, but there are several others of different floor plans, and we're gonna take a look through those here in this video. So if you want some quick move-ins and the incentives they have with it, definitely stick around because the incentives that are being offered are pretty nice. Here into your kitchen, nice and open. And the incentives are offering up to $30,000 closing costs if you use Shea Mortgage. Now I always recommend when you have your, the builder's lender, but also get your own lender just to compare loan estimates. Now, again, I doubt it's gonna be possible for a lender to make up $30,000 in closing costs, but you never know. Let me adjust this camera here for you. Sorry about that. But and it's up to $30,000 just depends on how much money you are putting down. So the more money you put down, the more percentage of the loan you can get for closing cost assistance. But nice, beautiful island here. And one thing I've noticed and you'll like about this is just the amount of lighting in here. So definitely plenty of lights in this one. Here's your pantry. So if you're looking to get some, some deals, now the two quick move-ins are priced, just had huge reductions and they were close to six and now they're five and a quarter and 541. So some good markdowns. And again, we're gonna see those later in today's video. So we're gonna look at two models and two completed homes that are offering that $30,000 closing cost and says up to. So right when you get to the top of the stairs, this small space here, make the best of it with low couch TV and your bedroom up here as well. Again, what I've talked about in this channel before is the dresser litmus test. Uh, no dresser in this one, but it does not feel cramped. There's definitely room for it. I'm gonna spin around. So if you got rid of that desk, or even here at the front of the bed, or maybe over in the corner there. And here's your primary bedroom. Again, nice space here into your bathroom. Toilet area, but a nice size walk-in closet. Plenty of space in here. And this community has, I think, a heated community pool. Um, just a lot to offer out here. And if you want some more info on Jordy Farms, just let me know. I'll send you uh, what I have on it. But when you're, if you do come out here and take a look at it, you'll love the entrance to it. it just looks nice, just uh, how you get into the community. Into your next bedroom. Pretty similar to the one we have already seen. But 
nicely done. And then you have your other bathroom up here. And this round isn't like some of the, the cheap plastic ones I've seen in other homes. So it's a little bit more durable. And here's your laundry. So pretty basic. And let's go check out the backyard of this one. We're gonna head to the next model. And then we're gonna go to the two completed homes. So you can see what those look like, what you can actually get. Because I don't, I could be wrong, but I'm not sure if they've released these models for sale just yet. All right. So here's what they've done with this model home in the backyard. They've put a pool in. So at this price point, sometimes the backyards are incredibly small. But thankfully here, that is not the case. Well, at least gives you an idea of what you can create your own backyard to look like. All right, let's head to the next model. So this floor plan is 3524. And the base price of this home starts at the cheapest at 544,990. There's three different elevations, the most expensive being the Craftsman, which starts at 558,990. Now this home, five bedrooms, three baths, two car garage, and 2,648 square feet. Now, if you like this home, then definitely stick around because there is a quick movement of it. Let me get inside here. And I told you the base price was right around 550. So base price is the base. And usually when it's finished, it's 10 to 25% more, depending on upgrades that people choose. But, on the one that is available. It was originally 601. They've reduced it to 541, 253. And that elevation I have right here in front of me is, I believe it is the Adobe Ranch. So we'll know more when we head over there next. But I like, I like this one. I like the layout better than the one we were just at. Nice backsplash. It was kind of like a light gray cabinet. And I like that it's also nice and open. So I've been out to this community before, but they definitely did not have the $30,000 incentives being offered. Sorry about the music playing. I cannot control that. Let's give you another shot of just the overview. Sorry about the camera, it keeps tilting on me. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna go back to the front of the house and then we're gonna go right upstairs. So here's your first bedroom. And pretty, pretty standard, they do have a dresser in here. So it makes me happy to see. And here's your first bathroom. Decent surround. I just dropped a towel on the ground. Excuse me while I hang that up. Can't take me anywhere. There's your sink. All right, let's go on upstairs. Check it out. So at the end of this, let me know which home you like the best from the models to the quick move-ins. And we're starting to see a lot of builders offer these. Not start, we've been seeing it, the incentives, especially with the rates being high. But thankfully rates did drop uh, last week. One of the biggest reductions we've seen, but we still have a ways to go. So I'm gonna get out of this bedroom because the music's loud, but pretty standard. And this area, I'm not sure if it's the same size as the other one, but it looks similar, just doesn't feel as enclosed. And here's your second upstairs bedroom. Um, feels, it does not feel like a cramped bedroom space. And your laundry is up here as well. It would be nice if there was a utility sink. 
Not that that's a hard project to get installed. And here is the other bathroom. All right, make our way. Oh, did I skip one? Probably. And this one feels much larger. That's probably just for, because of this little bump out right there. Now, for those of you who watch this channel and reach out, um, obviously the best way you can contact me, you can email, call, text. Those are always, uh, you know, your standard ways. All right, here is this primary bedroom. Give another shot. Plenty of space here. And your bathroom. I like the shower. You'll see a lot of the sliding doors. Nice big tile. I like that tile floor. And you have your dual sinks and your walk in closet. But really good space. And back to this location at Jordy Farms, very easy to get, um, really anywhere. Now, obviously it depends on where you live, or I'm sorry, where you work, what your commute is going to be, but it, close to, you know, right off of 24, 202, nice views of Four Peaks out there, superstitions, so great views of the mountains out here, and you're not too far from Santana Mountain Regional Park, one of our favorite places to go. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll frequently see photos of us out hiking there. And if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow. Connect with me there. See a lot more, especially if you're looking to move here and you're not kind of familiar with what's going on in Arizona, what there is to do. We're always doing something, my girls and I. So here is how they've done this model, this backyard. So decent space. And I don't think I went over to this door. Let's see where this goes. Uh, this just goes to, that's the sales office, which is gonna be the, that's actually the garage. So on the model homes, the garage are always used as, well, not always, 99% of the time, used as the sales office. All right, let's go check out these model homes and that up to $30,000 closing cost credit you can use to buy your rate down. So we are still at a claim at Jordy Farms from Shea Homes. This is the first of two completed quick moving homes that we're going to see. Um, let's give you a shot of your neighborhood here. Here's the second from the end. Nice brick drive. Large garage. This is a two-story home. Now I say completed, there are a few things that they are finishing up, but all in all, it is done. Now this home, it is for the plan is the 3524. So we saw this model. And it's a two-story home. Originally it was 601 233 completed price. And it's just an incentive down to 541 653. So $60,000 price reduction. And remember, for those who qualify using Shea Mortgage, they're offering up to $30,000 closing cost assistance. So you can use that to buy your rate down and help you out there if you want to or use it however else you want. So nice, large living area. Like these tile floors. Some people say they don't like the tile that looks like wood. What do you think? You like it? Not like it? Don't care? White cabinets. So if you see all that blue tape, those are things to be repaired. Or they did get repaired already. Usually they take them down. So there's still a few things they're finishing up. But honestly, it won't take uh, won't take the trades long to get in here and knock that out. We'll go outside here in a moment. 
like this bathroom here. I have to finish installing the toilet. I don't think it was centered. And we'll go out to the garage here in a moment. I just wanna keep on moving. We're gonna go upstairs. Now, if you don't remember, 3524, five bedrooms, three baths, two car garage, 500, or, uh, 2648 square feet. And the base price on a new home there is 545. So you're getting this completed home less than the base price. But obviously they want to move these homes that are on in inventory, they're completed, no one wants to sit on these. So that's why you're starting to see a lot of these incentives with the builders. And for those of you who are watching this like yo I, I really like that channel or that that channel i like that home i wish there was more of it just send me an email and i can come back through and do a slower longer video for you or we can get on a uh, facetime or zoom and if there's a particular house you like then we can uh, just look at that in more detail but no one wants to watch a two-hour video of me walking through a house you have your linen closet here in the hall. And you have your primary bedroom, which is decent size as well. And it looks out, you have your neighbors behind you. So most of these are just recently completed, except the one, if you're looking at the house to the left. As you can see, most people have not done their backyards yet. And a client of mine who built not too far from here, um, you know, they don't, the backyards are not part of the project. So it's just rock. So they ended up using turf and some pavers and it's not as expensive as you might think. I mean, there's so many companies out here, it helps keep pricing low. I don't want to open that shower. It's like they're finishing working on some things. But nice tile. Shower floor. Get another look at that sink. And we will keep on moving. Maybe, I don't get lost. Here's your other full bathroom. Pretty similar to what we've seen. And your bedrooms. What do you think of this so far? And do you like it when I include the completed homes or you just want to see the models or do you not like seeing the models at all? But I like this community. It's uh, not too old, good location. And the pricing is nice as well. So let's head outside for a second and take a look at that nice dirt backyard. <laughs> give you an idea at least what to expect when you buy a new home what you're gonna have to do and also give you an idea of how close these neighbors are that's one of the biggest things you hear is neighbors right on top of you and it does kind of feel like a prison yard with the dirt backyard not gonna lie <laughs> but obviously it, that changes when you add things well as i shoot this it is just after 12 o'clock so there's that sun right there so Something to think about of what direction you want your home to face here in Arizona on those hot 115 degree days. And we're gonna go check out the garage, give you an idea what that looks like. And then we're gonna go to the other quick moving for comparison. Uh, that other one, we've got a price sheet here. So this one is 541. That other one is playing 3523 and it's 524, 898. Here's your garage. It's a good size. And I think they're calling this a three car. Nope, two car. But it's a little bit of a wider two car. And I was gonna say, I hope they're not calling it a three car. Unless you have small cars. But some good space here for all your storage. So let's go check out the next one. This next completed home we're looking at is plan 3524 
and this home was 601 it is now 541 and if you're not if you don't remember what 3524 was the model we looked at it was a five bedroom three bath two car garage and the base price of that was around 550 so this one has been reduced to under the base price now as you go through this home you'll see there's a lot of things that still need to be done you'll see all of the tape so it's not quite there yet and they're still getting those things knocked out but let's check it out anyway so i do like the space in here nice wide hallways we have this tile that kind of looks like scraped wood but right to the right you have your first bedroom here on the main floor and the others are all up above but pretty basic here nothing uh too crazy. And you have your first uh, full bathroom. I mean, it is good. So this has not been inspected by a buyer's inspector yet. So it's nice that at least the builder is catching these things to their own process and getting it all corrected. But it's like tape city. So that, at least that's good. There are some things upstairs I want to point out though. Great space here, and I like that there is no one right behind you yet. And I'm sure that is coming. But nice and open and large living area. And then you also have this large dining area. I'm sorry, kitchen area. I don't know if you call it kitchen area, or always call it kitchen. And that's a lot of tape. Wowzers. It looks like my five-year-old just got some tape and just went to town. You know, let's go outside now. So you have a covered area here with a light, and then you have an out box up there so you can access electric. You want to do something there. Decent sized lot. And it looks like there is home getting uh, ready to go up here soon and you can see some of the palms that way from part of the entrance to Jordy Farms all right let's go back inside so how do you feel of this one so far compared to the other quick move in we've already taken a look at Let's go check out the bedrooms. More tape. And you have that similar oh, TV game area, whatever you want to call it. You hear that creaking? Something I noticed a lot. Maybe it's because it's newer, but I don't know. A lot of these floors are awfully creaky on this second level. And here's your primary bedroom. Great views of the mountains out there. I don't know if you can see it through the glass and all. And smoke detectors drive me nuts. Here's your walk-in closet. Pretty good space in here. So does the blue tape and some of those imperfections and things that need repair, does that bother you? Or just part of the process? So I know what bothers me is the creaking floor. That's, uh, that would drive me crazy if I lived here. And I don't remember if we saw this bedroom or not, but we're gonna look at it again if so, so I apologize. Your laundry area is up here, so that's nice. Your bathroom. And we're gonna check out this bedroom. And remember the one we saw, the model that kind of had that 
that bump out with the dresser there. So I kind of like, it's kind of nice for this bedroom that it has that, but more creaking. So what did you think of these homes? If you have questions, reach out. All my contact info is below, but watch this next tour and I'll meet you there.